Welcome back to another edition of Addicted to Gear. Today I want to take a couple of minutes to talk to you about something a little bit more on the serious side and that's hearing issues or hearing loss that musicians often experience unfortunately due to the fact that we're exposing ourselves to high volume music on a regular basis. So as a musician that's the main conundrum. We have to play music loud yet the loud music causes issues over time. So what can be done? Myself as a musician I've already started to experience hearing issues and I definitely want to take the steps that I can take to protect myself over time to make sure that they don't get worse. Unfortunately statistics show that musicians are four times as likely to experience hearing issues at one point or another in their lives. So you definitely want to take steps before you start seeing any hearing problems. So if you're young and you're just playing in a garage band, you're not playing anything professional at this point, definitely wear plugs in your ear if you can, if you cannot afford you know, better quality hearing protection. Um, definitely at least wear head uh, earplugs or try to lower the music or try to expose yourself to loud music for less time than you normally would to be able to try and counter the effects that you can experience with hearing issues. Now, if you don't have a choice and you have to play music on a regular basis because you're in a touring band, semi-professional band, cover band, whatever, uh, you know, you have a dilemma there because you have to play and you're gonna experience buzzing in your ears after the shows. It kind of comes with the territory. So myself, I've already started to experience hearing issues. I hear buzzing in my ear permanently in one side and I definitely want to protect myself because I don't want to have permanent hearing issues uh, if I could do anything about it right now. So I started to do some research and I came across a company called Rev33 which I wasn't familiar with but they have information on their website and they discuss uh, a little product and I have one here. Uh, their product basically acts as a filter to be able to filter these unwanted frequencies so that we can hear the music clearer and avoid some of these issues. Now I'm not a sound engineer, I don't claim to be a sound engineer, so I actually went on the website, read their technical information, looked at their videos, They're, they have some quite uh, interesting and detailed information on their website which I invite everybody here to check out. Now, before I ordered a pair, I was a little skeptical because, to be honest with you, it seemed a little bit too good to be true. I spoke to Mr. Uh, Brett Butler, the CEO of the company, and he was gracious enough to, you know, distill some of his knowledge upon me. Uh, a very intelligent guy, and he explained to me in, in a lot of detail uh, as to how they work. And so I decided to order two pairs for myself especially after I discovered that they're offering a 30-day money-back guarantee and so there's not much risk there and I discovered how affordable they actually were. Now the units that they sell are made specifically for certain types of headphones so I ordered two, one for my in-ear monitors and another set for my regular headphones that I would listen to on a regular basis, let's say when I was editing music or you know mixing or whatnot. So I tend to do that for long periods of time. So I wanted to have one set for that and one set specifically for when I play li live. So when I got the units, they came in a box, they were foam protected, they came with the little unit which is a, basically a little bit smaller than a Zippo lighter, a little extension cord and that's it. There's no battery, there's no on off switch. These things are passive, uh, they're not active, so there's no battery to replace. You can't even open the device. And there's just two inputs on the top of it, one that you put your headphones in and the other one that goes into the receiver that you're playing. So very, there's nothing to maintain, very easy to install. I immediately uh, set one up with my headphones and I was actually quite surprised to see that there was no coloration of sound. I was expecting to hear something different but I wasn't actually hearing anything different. The only thing that I did notice was that over time, long periods of time, um, I was experiencing less hearing fatigue and I, it's almost like I was able to hear the music clearer but um, you know, I wanted to give it a long-term effort before I actually gave any feedback. So I continued using them for at least a week 
and I definitely did not experience the hearing fatigue that I would normally hear with my headphones. So I definitely feel that there's something happening here and that they're actually filtering out some of the unwanted, undesirable uh, distortion frequencies that are in there that you normally are exposed to and have these ill effects, but you don't realize. Now, I took the other set, uh, the other unit, and plugged it into my in-ear monitors and I play with a band on a regular basis and we generally play for at least three hours at a time at relatively high volumes. And so I always normally come out of those jam sessions with buzzing in my ear. And what I noticed over a couple of sessions using the Rev 33s is that I was able to hear myself clearer uh, using the monitors. I was able to lower the volume in the monitors for whatever reason. And um, I didn't have um, buzzing in my ear for as long as I normally would without using this. So besides that, I mean, there's no, there, were, there was no coloration of sound. I didn't see any other difference, but I did notice a difference that I was uh, experiencing a lot less of the undesirable effects. So I definitely felt that the unit was doing something and doing something positive because I was able to avoid the ringing in my ear. And uh, just a note I wanted to express here is that these guys are not made to attenuate any kind of noise. So if you're exposing yourself to loud frequencies on a regular basis, whether you use these or not, you will run into problems. So ideally what you want to do is you want to reduce the exposure of loud volumes to your ears as much as possible. But if you don't have a choice and you definitely need to be able to hear what you're doing, try these out for the amount of money they cost. There's really no risk involved. I feel that they're actually quite useful. I'd like anybody who's actually taking an opportunity to try these to leave some comments uh, below. I want to know your experience with the devices um, and tell me if you like them. If you don't like them, thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, and please subscribe to my channel because there's going to be more great reviews coming your way. In the meantime, check out rev33.com for, for more information on their devices and uh, stay tuned because there's great stuff coming your way.